what are the coordinates of point C on the directed segment from a negative a comma four to b ten comma negative two that partitions the segment such that a c to c b is two to one. All right, so let's approach this. This kind of question is actually a similar triangle in disguise. Even though we're trying to partition a line segment into ratios, into specified ratios, this is in fact a uh, similar triangle question in disguise. Let's see how that's the case. So I am going to draw myself a um, uh, position of A relative to B uh, on a grid, but without any actual scales here because the scaling here really doesn't matter. I want you to get into the habit of actually just drawing things in a ballpark area where you're um, really approaching this with like a back of the envelope approach and um, just getting a sense of where the geometry is. So A is negative A comma 4, so I want to position it let's say like right there. I want to say this is where A is. And B is going to be 10 comma negative 2, which is going to be over here which I'm going to say that that's B. And um, well, what's going to happen is if I'm going to connect a line or draw a line connecting those two points together, okay, uh, this is the situation that I have. And if I were to place a point uh, somewhere along AB here, so let, I'm going to say maybe the point's located over here somewhere, and um, I want to say that the uh, this point here is C, and I have no idea what the X and Y coordinates are. But what I do know is this, okay? That if I were to drop the vertical component and drop and draw the horizontal component, okay, I would have a large right triangle here. And if I do the same thing at point C, drop a line down, I will have yet a, another another smaller right triangle. Okay, and this is really the heart of the problem here. If I were to find the dimensions here of the horizontal and vertical component of the larger triangle, I will then have dimensions of the larger triangle. So I'm going to do that first. So uh, horizontally, I'm going from negative 8 to positive 10. That is a distance of 18. And then uh, vertically, I'm going from positive 4 to negative 2. That is a vertical distance of 6. So... Uh, if all goes well, right, uh, what will happen is, and I don't know what the coordinates are over here, I'm going to call this x comma y. So uh, the distance over here, that's going to be x, and the vertical height, that's going to be y. What I know is x to 8, or actually x to 18 rather, okay, is going to be... Uh, y to 16 uh, y to 6 this is the situation that i have right that this proportion is going to hold true is going to hold true i also understand this that there is a ratio here um, of 2 to 1 well what does that mean well this is telling us that the um that this length over here which i'm going to highlight and give me a second here i want to change my highlighter to green that this length okay let me use a slightly thinner one that this length over here okay compared to the overall which I'm going to use blue compared to the overall okay that length in green is going to be uh, what fraction of the overall length well the, uh, the length in green, that's going to be one-third of the overall, right? Because it's a ratio of 2 to 1. So let's say if I call this, like, if I call this uh, segment over here, that green hypotenuse, if I call that N, right? Then the length of the overall uh, length in blue is going to be 3N. And how do I know that? Well, that's because we've partitioned the line into 2 to 1. So 2N to N, or the green compared to the overall is just 1 to 3. Now, why is that important? Well, that's because I can then say the following. I can say, well, I can say, well, you know, y to 6, right, is to n to 3n, right? And then I can solve for y. y will therefore equal to, well, actually, before I do that, just to go through the mathematics, the n will cancel, multiply both sides by 6, I'll end up with y is equal to 2. 
right? Multiply both sides by 6 and then divide by 3. And if I do the same thing, x over 18, this 2, right, is going to equal to 1 third, right? So therefore, x is going to equal to 6. Now, this doesn't give us the, uh, the coordinates of x, y. What we need to do then is we're going to uh, go from point B, which is 10 comma negative 2, to point C, right? And how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to travel in the horizontal direction 6 units to the left. So that means we're going to be subtracting 6 from 10. So 10 minus 6. And then we're going to go from negative 2. We're going to go up, right? We're going to go up by 2. So two, negative 2 plus 2. So this is going to be 4 comma 0. So that is going to be roughly the location of xy. It's going to be 4 comma 0. So which option is that going to be? That's going to be option 4.